Hey y'all, Matt here from Super Niche Sites. In the video today, I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how you can use ChatGPT or OpenAI's Playground to create a blog post from scratch. Now, this isn't something that I would recommend doing and I'm not doing with my sites, as I really feel like at some point, Google is likely going to catch on to this or OpenAI has talked about putting a watermark into their um, they're writing in some manner. So doing it straight from OpenAI into your blog could be an issue at some point in the future. However, it can, this can work great to give you some great ideas for writing, to help with writer's block, to use that as like a, a writing assistant, similar to Jasper, those sorts of things. So I feel like it can be helpful when you're writing blog posts. But again, I wouldn't recommend that you go out and just spam blog posts using ChatGPT or OpenAI, especially because sometimes it'll output some stuff that's really weird and might not make a whole lot of sense and also might be inaccurate. So that is a warning before we get into this. Also, before we start, please be sure to hit the like button and then subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and hop in. When using ChatGPT to create a blog post, first thing I recommend that you do is find some keywords. Now, of course, there are many different tools that you can use for ChatGPT, like ChatGPT to find keywords. You could use keyword tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush or the many different keyword tools. You could use Google Autosuggest to get keyword ideas. But since I'm showing you how to do a blog post with ChatGPT, I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to get keywords at, or search terms as well. So let's go ahead and type in, we could just write, give me, 50 keyword ideas for a blog post about, let's do, uh, let's do about oil changes, okay? About oil changes and see what it comes up with here. All right, I did misspell that and we'll see if that matters. Okay, maybe not, or maybe that's just something on my screen. Okay, so how often should you change your car's oil? The importance of regular oil changes, the benefits of synthetic oil, DIY while oil change versus professional service. How to choose the right oil, oil change intervals, the consequences of skipping oil changes, how to dispose, dispose of used oil properly, oil change specials and discounts. Okay, so what it's doing is it's going to give me 50 different keyword ideas. Now, not all of these are gonna be good ideas. What I would always recommend you do, even when using keyword tools, is I go over to Google and you're gonna type in or copy and paste that specific one. And then what you wanna do is you want to see, okay, what's the competition look like? Um, does it have a Google auto suggest for that term? All of those different things. So we're gonna let it run here for a second. And let's see if I can find some while it's running. Okay, history motor oil and oil. Um, how to choose the right oil for your car, consequences of skipping, how to dispose. Let's, let's try that one and see. That's how to dispose of used oil properly. Okay, let's go over here, paste that in, and see what we come up with. Uh, AZ DEQ, that's because I live in Arizona. Save back to dispose of cooking oil. Okay, I guess it didn't say. Uh, used oil, cooking oil, cooking oil, cooking oil. Okay, so that's kind of ambiguous, so I'm not gonna write on that. How to reset your car's oil change light, I feel like is gonna be different depending on which model you have, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, Oil change frequency for high mileage vehicles, maybe. Let's scroll down here a little bit. Okay, so it kind of got off track here. If you don't like the results, what you can simply do is do new chat and then change the prompt. Changing the prompt is one of the most important things that you can do with ChatGPT or OpenAI. So instead of typing in, what did I type in here? Uh, 50 keyword ideas, let's see, give me 50 keyword ideas for a blog post about oil changes. Instead, how about I try and write in, uh, give me, 50 low competition search terms for a blog post in the oil change category. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm changing up the words and I'm gonna see what different terms I'm gonna get. So I added in search terms instead of keywords and I changed it to low competition. And then we'll see if these are actually gonna be low competition. Uh, obviously those at the top are not, how to change oil on a diesel engine might be. Um, high mileage, a lot of these, boy, these are not low competition at all. Okay, so we'll see what it does. Oil change for new cars, oil change for used cars, oil change for high performance cars, oil change for hybrid cars, oil change for trucks. Eh, no, this is not really giving us good results either. Okay, so the point of ChatGPT and even OpenAI and AI in general is you gotta play with the prompts. Okay, so what it's done is now it has got on the oil change for X so now it's giving me all of those. It's giving me all of those oil changes for whatever, and that's no good. So give me 
50, let's try, let's try to search terms without low income. Search terms for a blog post about oil changes. Okay, see what that puts out. So what I'm gonna do is I am giving a new chat and then I'm seeing what it comes up with. And it's going in the same direction, which I'm not a fan of. Okay, so instead of that, we're gonna do, yeah, it's not getting any better. Okay, so it's just including the word oil change. Um, give me, give me 50 questions that car owners might ask about an oil change. Well, let's do about oil changes. Stick out on. Okay, so what I do, I change my prompt up when I'm not getting the results that I want. Cause I want, I want low competition queries, okay? I want questions, I want those sorts of things. So I could use the keyword tools that are gonna throw those out. I could use Google Auto Suggest that are gonna throw those out. But let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT does when I change it. What type of oil should I use? Can I change my own oil or should I take it in mechanic? How much does oil change cost? Is it okay to go a little longer between oil changes? Can I use a different brand of oil than what the manufacturer recommends? What happens if I don't get my oil changed regularly? Can I mix different types of oil? Can I use synthetic oil? Okay, these are all excellent questions that you could write blog posts about. So instead of searching for keywords or search terms, instead I search for 50 questions that car owners might ask about oil changes. Let's say you have a pet blog. Maybe you're gonna write, give me 50 questions that cat owners might ask about cat toys. Okay, and so by doing questions instead, now it's giving me a bunch of what would probably be low competition queries. Okay, so let's see, can I switch between regular and aesthetic? What happens if I use the wrong oil weight? Can I mix different oil weights? How do I dispose of my old oil? Can I mix oil from different oil changes? Uh, can I mix oil that been previously used with new oil? What happens if I mix old and new oil? Okay, so I'm gonna to wanna to do something that has to do specifically about an uh, oil change, okay? Um, let's, so let's do, <laughs> let's try this one. Is it okay to go a little longer between oil changes? Okay, so we're gonna go up here and we're going to paste that in. And let's see what it got. What happens if you wait too long for an oil change from CBAC? How long should you really wait between, between oil changes? The dirty truth, truth about how often you need your oil change? Are extended oil change intervals taking a toll on your car? How long can you go past your oil change? So that's kind of covered. Uh, let's go and see a little bit more what other options we have here. Um, can I mix different types of oil? Can I use synthetic oil in my older car? Okay, let's try that one. Okay, that's a pretty good long tail, I would guess. Let's see what Google has to say. Okay, in a classic or just plain old car, this is from Car and Driver, so I'm probably not going to do that. I don't know what Fred, Be Fred Beans is or your mechanic. Uh, can Napa know how? Okay, I'm not gonna do that. It's got good sites that are already ranking for it. Um, can I drive, can I overflow my oil? How do I check my oil level? How do I know? Can I use a generic? There we go, let's try that. What I'm doing is I'm just going through each of these keywords on this list and I'm looking for, I'm, I'm looking for something that doesn't have something that answers it. So, um, can I use a generic oil filter or should I use a specific brand? Okay, that talks about it kind of, but it's not, it's talking about different filter when using synthetic oil. Is there any Quora? Great. Is it safe to use aftermarket oil, air filters or oil filters? Okay, that's not exactly targeting it. Uh, what filter uses synthetic oil? Okay, how to choose the right oil filter? All right, I like this, I like this. Okay, let's go on this one. Uh, yourgreenpal.com and see what we have to say here because that one looked kind of like it's uh, a decent one. So I've got these lists of keywords. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing the analysis on my competition. I'm seeing who I'm gonna be going up against with this. Um, is it safe to use aftermarket air and oil filters? Not exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, this is aftermarket versus generic. Um, aftermarket parts versus OEM, the purpose of oil and air filters, safe to use in aftermarket, okay, on a lawnmower, <coughs> that doesn't exactly work out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so looks like this is for, for lawnmowers. Yeah, lawnmowers. So this isn't even referring to a car. And I'm gonna say generic oil filter, or should I use a specific, specific brand is good for a car. So that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use this uh, as our 
as our topic for our blog post that we're going to create using ChatGPT. So that's the first thing. You need to find a keyword and then you need to do the um, analysis on it to find one that's low competition. So what I recommend you do is uh, go through each of these. I'll probably save this entire list. Go through them one at a time and look on Google, the search engine result page, just like I did there, and check each one to see which ones have low competition, then create a list. So I'm just gonna create a massive list of these keywords that are around the category that I'm searching in. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to create an outline for this blog post. All right, so I got a new window here in ChatGPT opened up, a new chat, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an outline for that keyword that we have chosen. So what I want to do is I want to create create an outline for a blog post with the title. I'm going to do parentheses, pull our title from Google over here, come back here, and paste that in, parentheses. Now, I could just go with that and it will create me an outline. However, again, with ChatGPT, OpenAI, and really any of the AI softwares, the more specific you are, the better. So rather than just create an outline, I'm gonna do create an outline with 10 subheadings and multiple headings underneath going into great detail for a blog post with the title. Okay, so see what I did there? I added more information for it to go off of. So I told it I want 10 subheadings. I want multiple subhead multiple headings underneath going into great detail for the blog post with the title. Okay, that's going to get you much better results than simply saying create an outline. And so the more specific you can get with chat GPT, the better results you're going to get. So let's click enter. Sometimes it'll give you those uh, 10, sometimes it won't. If it runs out of things to write about, it might only give you, say, seven or something like that. But typically, from my experience, when you give it 10 subheadings, it'll give you 10 subheadings most of the time, if there's enough to write about, as long as you're not going too super niche. So I've got introduction, the importance of using the right oil filter for your car, potential consequences of using a generic oil filter, what is an oil filter and what does it do, differences between generic and specific brand oil filters, factors to consider when deciding between a generic or specific brand, advantages of using a specific brand oil filter. <clears throat> so we're just getting all of these different ones. We're gonna have the advantages. I'm gonna guess it's gonna probably give disadvantages. Perfect, okay, this is exactly the type of thing that you'd want when you're writing a blog post. You're gonna want the advantages of a, of a branded oil filter. And I'd probably change these headings a bit. So instead of advantages of using a generic oil filter, I might use pros of generic oil filters, cons of generic oil filters, pros of branded oil filters, cons of brand oil filters, just because so I don't want to use the exact same uh, keyword over and over and over again, whereas ChatGPT just doesn't care. All right. When should you avoid using it? When is it okay to use it? If they're... Um, all right, if they're similar, I might not use them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this outline and I'm going to create an article with it using ChatGPT. And I'm gonna cover that in the next section. So now on to creating the actual blog post itself and all of the content of the blog post. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. What you can do is you can do um, right, let's see, go into great detail explaining the content under number one in the outline, uh, the outline above. Okay. What I did there was I just told it, told it, I wanted to have it explain the content under the introduction and I can do that. <clears throat> and I could do that for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down through to 10. The issue with that is it's going to take you longer. It's not going to be one and done. But if it gets off track a bit, you can have it regenerate the response. You can have it rewrite that section. You can say, hey, rewrite that section, but make it more humorous. Rewrite that section, but make it more educational. Rewrite that section, but make it easier to understand. Those sorts of things as you're going through. That's the more time consuming way to do it, but you're gonna end up with a better article. The second way to do it is you can simply do, go into great detail, explaining each of those points in a 1500 word blog post, okay? So now what I'm doing, <clears throat> now let's do each of those points in, in that 
outline in a 1500 word blog post. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to just tell it, hey, go to town, cover each of those things in the 1500 word blog post. Again, the issue with that is my prompt is not very clear. I didn't tell it the style that I wanted to write in. I didn't tell it if I wanted it to be humorous, if I wanted it to be serious, if I wanted it to be in the style of a specific writer, all of those sorts of things. So what I'm doing is the output is could be off the wall. It could be all across the the um, all across the spectrum, truthfully, in what I'm going to get back because I didn't give it a whole lot of detail. Instead, let's go into more detail. What prompts, what you put into ChatGPT and OpenAI, as I said earlier, is very, very, very important. So I'm going to do pretend you, and I can't spell. Spelling is also important. Pretend you are an automotive expert who has been changing changing oil for decades. Go into great detail explaining, go into great detail, let's see, explaining the outline above and each of the points in a 1500 word blog post. Okay, so that's pretty good. So now I've told it that I want it to pretend it's an automotive expert who had been changing all for decades. So now it knows a whole lot about it. Okay, it's going to pretend that it knows a whole lot about this. It, I, it knows I, it, that I want it to go into great detail explaining the outline above in each of the points. It knows I wanted to write a 1500 word blog post. What else could I give it? I could say write in the style of, let's see, write in a human style and not as an AI, give clear directions and instructions and write in a manner that a beginner could understand, okay? As with the keyword research, as with the outline that I that we did cut in in the last section, you are going to get the right prompt over time, the one that you like, the one that fits your blog post the best, the one that you're gonna have to change because again, I wouldn't recommend doing this and just copy and pasting it to your website. But as you evolve, as you change the prompt, as you learn, oh, I don't like it for that or let's try it for this or let's tweak it this way, by changing it slightly, by saying pretend you are instead of an automotive expert, Pretend you work for a company that, you pretend you work for an oil change company, or pretend you work for Walmart and change oil every day, or pretend you work for Jiffy Lube or Valvoline. You can change all of those different things and then try it again, and then try it again, and find which one works best. But as it is, we're gonna go ahead and do it for, like that. All right, so now we've got, as an automotive expert to change oil for decades, I learned the importance of using the right oil filter for your car. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that. I'll show you that in the next section. But what ChatGPT is doing is it is creating my blog post essentially about the topic above. It's gonna write the introduction and then it's going to go into each section. So let's get started, all right? So now it did an introduction before the introduction. When it does this, which sometimes it does, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine this top part and the introduction into one section for the introduction. I'm gonna take the best parts of this and I'm going to take the best parts of this and I'm going to use it. So let's say, eh, I might just use this, okay? The importance of using the right oil filter for your car can be overstated. The oil filter plays an import, a crucial role. It works to remove contaminants from the engine oil without a properly functioning oil filter. Your engine can suffer from decreased performance. That's why it's important to use, okay? We're having differences. Let's first talk about what the oil filter is and what it does. All right, so now it's gonna write. And then when it's done writing, it'll stop partway through. What you're going to do, want to do is continue, continue writing where you stopped. Okay, and I'm showing you this because I'm not gonna make you sit here while it generates all of this, all of this uh, text. Because there's 10 points, it's gonna take a while. So what I'm gonna do is when it stops, I'm gonna do continue writing where you stop, just click enter, and then it will continue writing the next section of the article. Sometimes, depending on how long of the article it is, you might have to do that once, might have to do it, do it twice, those sorts of things. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and I'll hop right back with you once this has finished generating this blog post. 
So I finished writing the article, and as you can see here, I'll scroll up a bit, I actually had to write continue writing where you've stopped multiple times, as the article is quite long. Okay, I did it there, I did it there, I did it there, I think I did it three times. Yep, I did it three, three different times. And what I did was I copied and pasted it into WordPress over here. And if we do blog post, let's do this, and let's see how many words we have total. Okay, so a total of 2,064 words. So this is a 2,000 word article that was entirely written by ChatGPT using that outline and using the instructions and I didn't have to spend a dime to write it. Now again, I would not recommend posting this as is. However, I'm going to, going to go ahead and po post it here on my website as an example to you so you can go through and read it, you can look at it and that sort of thing. And that is parksroyal.com is the website. It'll be the top one there, unless you're watching this later, it might be a little bit further down. But I just use this website as an example for people um, so they can actually see like some of the different things I'm doing, how I have the theme set up, those sorts of things. What I recommend you do is first of all, go through and edit, okay? So if you leave it as is, it doesn't automatically H2 these and it puts in random numbers by them because that's what was there with the um, with the outline. So what I recommend you do first is go through and H2 everything. Okay, up one extra backspace. Okay, I'm gonna head in that. Scroll down, backspace. Okay, so what I recommend you do is go through and H2 everything. Then if you're going to use this for your actual website is I would go through and I would change up and just use this as an example. So say you read through this intro and then after you read through this intro, you hit enter and now I'm going to, the importance of using the right oil filter for your car can't be overstated. It is vitally important that you choose the right oil filter for your car, truck, I can't spell, truck, van, or SUV. Okay, what I do, I am rewriting what the AI gave me. Okay, um, the importance can't be overstated. The oil filter plays a crucial role in car's engine. An oil filter is a must when it comes to your vehicle as it helps to remove the gunk from your oil and keep your car functioning as it should. Okay, again, having, gram having Grammarly as a plugin on Chrome is amazing. As you can see, it changed those words that I misspelled. Okay, so without properly functional filling and control and decrease performance and even serious damage. Okay, so I kind of covered that as well. Um, that's why it's important to choose an oil filter high quality and compatible with your car. Okay, so I'm gonna erase that. Actually, I'm gonna leave it because I'm gonna take this top part out just to leave what the AI actually put in. Um, so after I'll save this actually as an AI written article entirely, 100%. But this is what I would recommend you do. I recommend that you take what ChatGPT, OpenAI, Playground, whatever gives you, and you put it in and then you rewrite it. Now, why? Because one, I feel like in the future, Google's gonna be punishing AI content. I really, I really and truly wouldn't, it would not surprise me. Now, whether they can, whether they can detect it, whether they will or whether they'll care, no one knows for sure what the future holds. However, I don't wanna be on the wrong side of that. I don't wanna spend hundreds of hours putting out hundreds of AI articles that I barely edit. And then a year from now, when my blog is making $1,000 a month or $5,000 a month or whatever, Google's like, hey, we're putting out this to stop AI content and boom, your, your website gets smacked and you now have no income coming in because of the articles that you wrote. Not something I wanna to have to worry about going in the future. So I would recommend you go through and edit, write in your own voice, tell your own stories that are in your specific niche, talk about things, go into more detail, explaining things that need more detail explaining, all of those things I would recommend that you do using this content from ChatGPT. Now you say, if I'm going to go through and I'm going to rewrite or edit the majority of this content, what is the point of using ChatGPT? And while I agree with you in some regards, this makes it so much easier for writing, especially if maybe English isn't your first language, or if you're not exactly sure what to, what to write about. You've got brain, brain block going on, brain fog going on, maybe you're sick, maybe you just had a long day and you're tired and you're like, man, I wanna write an article but my brain's not thinking straight. 
just use chat GPT, create these sections and then go through and be like, okay, now I read that I'm going to rewrite it. You're, are you plagiarizing chat GPT? Sure. But chat GPT isn't plagiarism. Like the, this, I promise you, this will not be found on Google. And that's because of how the AI works. Okay. So let's copy that. Let's go to Google and let's see if Google pulls up with anything that is similar. Okay. It's got three words, your engine clean on this first one. It's got remove as what much dirt and grime from. Okay. Fragments in your modal oil. All right. All chat GPT isn't just copying or stealing the content from the internet. Although there are going to be some people who are going to be like, yes, it is. It's stealing it. It's just combining it in different ways and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. If that's what you want to believe. That's totally fine. But what I'm saying is by you rephrasing it in your words and in your brand language, maybe you write humorously, maybe you write more seriously, maybe you use stories because you're writing about your pets, whatever it is in your niche, you can take this content and completely redo it, completely rewrite it, and you don't have to worry about brain fog or getting stuck or not knowing what you're going to write about next. And you can probably go through and rewrite and re-edit the majority of this article I would say in 30 minutes or less would be my guess. Now this article did come out a little bit longer. It was 2,000 words instead of 1,000 words that I'd normally do an article like this about. <coughs> Excuse me. Got something in my throat apparently today. But despite that, you you just rewrote or wrote a 2,000 word article in 30 minutes. How long is it going to take you to write that from scratch? I don't know about you, but for me to write a 2000 word article from scratch is going to be at least a few hours. So if I'm able to write an article in 30 minutes, that means if I've got an hour to put towards my blog, I can instead write two articles in that time instead of writing a half article in that time. If I've got two hours I can put towards my blog, I can write four articles instead of being able to write one article. I can 4x my output and if I'm rewriting it and putting in my own words and adding my own stories and adding my own expertise, I'm going through and I'm fact checking, I'm making sure everything's correct. I'm going through and making sure that ChatGPT didn't throw something random in that's like, whoa, that's not right at all, which it does. That's why you need to rewrite it. That's why you need to edit it. That's why you need to change it. Don't just use it as is. Now, on this site, on parksworld.com, I am going to use it as is. I will go through here after I finish this video up and I'll add the H2s. I will separate it up. That's another thing you need, you need to do. Um, these uh, paragraphs are way too long. I always recommend that you do uh, two or three sentences, but if they're longer sentences, I prefer to break it up like that. So I've got two, one. Um, this one has three as well. I'm going to do two, <coughs> two, one there as well. <coughs> oh, man, rough one today. So I'll go ahead and do that. That way you can see an example of 100% pure AI article written. It will keep the same title. Can I use a generic oil, oil filter or a specific brand? And if you'll notice, I did change that as well. Um, the title up here was, can I use a generic oil filter or should I use a specific brand? I changed, shortened it up. Can I use a generic oil filter or a specific brand? I just took out the, sh or should I use a specific brand and removed a few words that were, uh, didn't need to be in there truthfully. And truthfully, you could probably uh, shorten this up. You could probably just do generic oil filter versus specific brands. Uh, I actually like that better. So let's do that. Generic oil filter <clears throat> versus, and we'll do a specific brand. Now let's do which should, I don't know why that capitalized, you choose. Question mark. Okay, perfect. That's my title. So that will be the title that I'll have um, there on the homepage of Parks Royal. If you're watching this a little bit later later time, it might be a little bit further down, but I will keep this live just as a perfect example of what ChatGPT OpenAI can do in regards to blog articles. I hope that this video has been helpful, giving you a full breakdown on how you can build and write a blog article using ChatGPT, using the OpenAI Playground. If you don't know what that, what that is, go to OpenAI and you can create an account. They give you free uh, credits or tokens as of right now. And then you can go into the playground and use that to write these sorts of things, the outline and the blog posts and the blog sections, et cetera, rather than using chat GPT. If at some point in the future, chat GPT is charging or is not working as well. Again, my name is Matt. I'm from Super Niche Sites, and I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Have a great rest of your day.